Baptism amplifies what Jesus has done. It shows people on the outside what God has done on the inside. If getting baptized is showing people on the outside what God has done on the inside, what has God done on the inside? You see, when Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb and he came back to life again. He was buried in a tomb and then he came back to life again. When we get baptized, usually someone's standing there with us and they take us and we get dunked under the water and then we come back out again. It's like taking a bath without the soap in your eyes. one time when I was growing up, me and my two older brothers were out in the backyard playing. We we're playing in the dirt, playing in the mud, getting all dirty and muddy. It was cool. Then it came time for us to go inside. We got to that back door and there was my mom standing at the door with her hand out like this. You're not coming inside this house all dirty and muddy like that. Mom wouldn't let us in the house. We're too dirty and muddy. She said we had to clean up and wash off, get all the dirt off. Well, that's what we did. We washed up, got all the dirt off, and then Mom said, all right, you can come inside now. In our relationship with God, it's a lot like that. With sin in our heart and our life, God says, uh-uh, sorry, I can't have a friendship with you. You got sin in your life. Can't let you into heaven with that sin. That's what makes what Jesus did so important. When Jesus died on the cross, and he was buried, he came alive again. And when he did that, he made a way for our sins to be washed away. So when we get baptized, we come up, it shows people on the outside that we've invited Jesus into our life and that he's washed away our sin. Now, does getting baptized take away our sin? No, it shows people on the outside what God has done on the inside.